Hello friends. Will it be a turnaround that no one expected for Bama? Let's analyze. Kalen DeBoer is once again demonstrating his ability to attract top talent to Alabama, and Javian Hilson's possible return to commit to the Crimson Tide is an example of that. Hilson, who decommitted from Alabama some time ago and also recently decommitted from FSU, now appears to be reconsidering his options, leaving the path open for a possible turnaround. This move by Hilson, one of the best defenders in the 2025 class, puts DeBoer in a strategic position. Convincing him to return would be a huge triumph, especially considering the defenseman had already distanced himself from the program following Nick Saban's departure. However, DeBoer's influence has proven to be effective, revitalizing the program and, it seems, once again attracting Hilson's interest. Hilson's potential return to Tuscaloosa is not only a fan wish, but also a priority for DeBoer. The coach's ability to keep Alabama competitive in recruiting, even amid major changes, reinforces confidence in the program's future. Hilson, with his dominant performance at Coco High School, where he racked up 97 tackles and 14 sacks his junior season, represents exactly the type of player DeBoer wants at Alabama. Despite strong competition from Texas, which currently leads the race for Hilson, DeBoer knows there is still room to work. Hilson's visits to Tuscaloosa this year, and the possibility of another visit soon, indicate that the Crimson Tide remains a viable option. DeBoer's patient and strategic approach, focused on building strong relationships and presenting the long-term vision for the player's future, could be the key to securing Hilson again. If Hilson returns to Alabama, he would make an immediate impact on the team's defense. His athleticism and ability to overcome blocks quickly and efficiently are exactly what the Crimson Tide look for in their defenders. Hilson's addition would not only strengthen the 2025 class, already considered one of the best in the country, but it would also mark yet another significant achievement for DeBoer in his mission to keep Alabama at the top. The battle with Texas is still ongoing, and DeBoer and his team have no intention of relenting. Hilson's recruitment will be one of the priorities in the coming months, and the coach's continued effort could make a difference. Landing Hilson would be yet another demonstration of DeBoer's powers of persuasion and how committed he is to keeping Alabama as one of the strongest programs in college football. Whatever the outcome, DeBoer has already shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to secure the best talent for the Crimson Tide. And Javian Hilson could be the next big name to join his ambitious 2025 project. Nick Saban's impact on college football is undeniable, and his transition into the media has been nothing short of impressive. Now serving as an analyst on ESPN College Game Day, he continues to display the same excellence and attention to detail that led him to six national championships with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Recently, Reese Davis, one of College Game Day's most familiar faces, shared a fascinating insight into working alongside Saban, emphasizing not only his in-depth knowledge of the game, but also his humility and willingness to learn in a new environment. Davis, who is no stranger to success in the work field, revealed how impressed he was with Saban's level of involvement. The legendary coach isn't simply going through the motions, he's in, as Davis put it. Saban is actively involved in production meetings and weekly conversations with the team, always striving for perfection he recognizes as a hallmark of his career. Nick Saban's relentless pursuit of excellence is what sets him apart, not only as a coach, but also now as an analyst. And the most surprising thing for Reese Davis is the way Saban dedicates himself to this new role with the same seriousness as he dedicated to commanding his teams. Instead of leaning on his seven national championship titles and demanding everyone's undivided attention, Saban prefers a humble, collaborative style. As Davis pointed out, he could easily adopt a more imposing stance, after all, his credentials and resume are enough to ensure that everyone listens to him. However, the former Alabama coach opts for another approach. He is there to learn, to contribute, and to be part of the team, always seeking to improve even in a field that is not his natural field. It's clear that working alongside someone with Nick Saban's level of experience and wisdom is a unique opportunity. As Davis mentioned, 
it would be foolish not to take advantage of the knowledge Saban brings to the table, especially considering he still has a very fresh outlook on the game. His transition to college game day came shortly after his retirement in January, when he nearly led Alabama to another college football playoff final, losing only to Michigan in the semifinals. Even with his recent retirement, Saban remains sharp, and his communication skills on camera have impressed colleagues and viewers alike. Saban's impact on television goes beyond just technical analysis. According to Davis, the retired coach brings a refreshing sincerity and openness that many former coaches are hesitant to display. Saban isn't afraid to talk about areas where programs and teams need to improve, but he does so with remarkable sensitivity. He knows how to point out weaknesses without sounding like a harsh critic. This is a testament to his maturity, not just as a coach, but as a communicator. For Alabama fans, it's very interesting to see the former Crimson Tide leader continue to be part of the college football scene, even if now in a different way. The same winning mentality that brought so much joy to Tuscaloosa can now be seen on Saturday mornings as he shares his wisdom with the nation. Nick Saban's transition to college game day has not only kept his legacy alive, but also reinforced his ability to reinvent himself and continue contributing to the sport he loves so much. Reese Davis was clear in recognizing Saban's impact not just as a coach, but as a natural communicator, capable of translating his vast experience into an accessible and interesting form for the public. For anyone who follows college football, it's hard not to admire this new facet of a man who has already achieved so much. However, the way Saban approaches this new phase of his life, with the same dedication, humility and desire to be great, reflects why he is an icon, not just in Alabama, but across the country. Jalen Milrow's performance in the 2024 season has been a true revelation, and it's no surprise that he's starting to draw comparisons to some of the biggest names in football. Mel Kuyper Jr., one of the most respected voices when it comes to evaluating NFL talent, highlighted a fascinating aspect of Milrow's game, comparing his running ability to that of Baltimore Ravens star Lamar Jackson. That's a weighty comparison, as Jackson is widely recognized as one of the best dual-thread quarterbacks college football and the NFL have ever seen. For Alabama, Milrow's emergence as that type of dynamic player is excellent news especially in a season that brings high expectations under head coach Kalen DeBoer. The success DeBoer had in grooming and developing Milrow cannot be understated. The coach has brought new energy to the Crimson Tide, and the results are starting to show clearly. Not only has Milrow demonstrated great athletic ability, he is also showing significant growth in his reading of the game and control in the pocket. Under DeBoer's guidance, he became more than just a talented quarterback, he transformed into a complete threat on the field. Milrow's stats so far are impressive. Throwing for 590 yards and rushing for 156 more in just three games is a clear example of his versatility. But the most impressive thing is that he was responsible for 14 touchdowns, without committing a single turnover. That level of efficiency and accuracy is what separates the great from the good and Milrow is definitely showing that he can be the elite quarterback Alabama needs to maintain its dominance on the college football landscape. Coach Kalen DeBoer, meanwhile, deserves applause for creating an environment that allows Milrow to thrive. Under his leadership, the Crimson Tide is playing with a renewed balance between running and passing, making the most of Milrow's skills. DeBoer has shown himself to be a skilled strategist, implementing an offensive scheme that maximizes the quarterback's strengths and minimizes risks. Additionally, DeBoer's focus on developing players' character and mindset is clearly paying off, with Milrow displaying an unwavering commitment to being great, as Kuyper noted. That desire to improve and embrace coaching is shaping Milrow into an increasingly promising NFL draft prospect. His performance in last year's SEC championship is any indication, Milrow is more than ready for the challenge. On that occasion, he showed coolness under pressure, leading the Crimson Tide with two touchdowns and 192 yards in a thrilling victory. Jalen Milrow's future looks bright, and Alabama is reaping the rewards of his development. Coach DeBoer has been instrumental in this process, 
guiding the young quarterback with mastery and preparing him to shine on both the college and professional scene. The Crimson Tide, traditionally a defensive powerhouse, now boasts a dynamic offense led by a quarterback who has the potential to redefine what it means to play the position in Tuscaloosa. The combination of an elite quarterback in the making and a coach with a clear, innovative vision puts Alabama in an excellent position to compete at the highest level in both the college football playoff and future NFL draft classes. The latest updates regarding the Alabama men's basketball team have brought concerns, especially with injuries affecting three key players. Head coach Nate Oates shared the status of Chris Youngblood, Darian Reed and Nas Cunningham, offering insight into how these injuries could impact the start of the season. The most serious case among the three players is that of Chris Youngblood. The South Florida transfer underwent ankle surgery and was seen in a medical boot during practice this week. Youngblood, who was expected to compete for significant minutes, is now on the mend but Nate Oates believes he could be 100% recovered in time for the start of the conference season. The coach highlighted Youngblood's character and effort, saying he is one of the hardest-working kids he has ever met. Last season, Youngblood averaged an impressive 15.3 points, 2.5 rebounds, and 2.1 assists per game, earning him the AAC Co-Player of the Year award in 2024. Even with the injury, he, he continues to be involved with the team, attending meetings, and playing an active role as a sort of assistant coach. Youngblood's commitment to the team, even off the court, shows how valuable he will be when he returns to full fitness. In addition to Youngblood, freshman Darian Reed is also dealing with an injury, but the situation appears to be less serious. Reed has a prop in hand and is considered week to week. Oates hopes he will be back on the court in time for the exhibition against Wake Forest on October 18. As a five-star prospect and McDonald's All-American, Reed brings high expectations, and the team hopes he can contribute quickly once he is fully recovered. Freshman Nas Cunningham is dealing with a groin injury, but Nate Oates revealed his situation is day-to-day. There is hope that Cunningham can return to full training later this week, which would be a relief for the team. With the start of the season approaching, Alabama hopes these crucial players can recover quickly and contribute to the team's success. Nate Oates' work in managing these injuries while staying focused on developing the rest of the team will be key in the coming weeks. Now I want to see your thoughts, leave a comment.